What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here doing another video, and today we got another review on a school bus simulator. Uh, this game is called Monroe, Washington. Uh, I had a few people tell me to check this game out, uh, so here we are today. Uh, I could have sworn I did a video on this game, but I looked back and I guess I didn't. However, I do recall seeing this lot before. Uh, so I think I stepped foot inside of this game before, but I just decided not to review it or something like that. But um, here we are today. Um, checking it out so uh this is what you'll spawn in i'm in the all rank edition so um just uh a heads up uh to get the spawner to work up here you actually have to join the group uh so yeah you don't have to get trained or anything like that i don't think at least i didn't so you just got to get the uh to get the spawner to work you got to be in the group so um i think this is cool how you're in kind of like a portable right here uh it gives you kind of the layout of the lot which is pretty cool and the high school and the middle school which is really cool as well um i think this is very cool uh as well uh it's always nice to put up guidelines for people to follow especially when it's in your game um do not back out of your parking spot unless you can okay cool um all right so you can actually turn the lights off in here which is pretty cool um can i close that yeah okay so there's a garage over here they have a lot of nice cool looking buildings uh i'm not saying they're the best looking buildings but they're they are pretty cool i do like the keys being on the wall like that uh garages are pretty cool um now i obviously it looks to me that there's free models in this game i'm not too sure but they do look like free models come on um but yeah uh, if you want to turn the trees on you just go to settings and press trees on uh now i'm gonna critique your game okay because there are some flaws uh let's see here so we open the spawner here's your um spawner thing uh, i don't know if any of this stuff is leaked uh they are affiliates with uh merino valley so i'd hope not um so we'll just see in the comments down below um what do they have here they got 2011 2013 2019 2016 2022 hmm. we can drive a 2022 if we can wait for it to spawn in there it goes uh now i just have to find it oh okay let's retry that Um, spawn a bus. Let's try a different one. I think this is... There we go. That worked. Um, okay. So, the 2022 T3 RE. Um, let's see what all works on it. Okay. So, oh, I like how it names everything. That's pretty cool. Uh, engine compartment. Pretty cool. Uh, battery box. Nice. What is it? Oh, there's another door here. I've never seen a setup like that. Doors on both sides. Or I think I have, but I've just never really understand it. I guess the more exits, the better. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and open the doors. Um interesting looking interior okay okay low air okay hold on this is all new to me I've never seen a bus start up like this Give me a second here. I guess it's got to build air first. Um, I don't know if it's going to do it automatically or if I have to... Like... I guess we'll find out here in a second. Okay, yeah, it is building automatically. It's building up down here. So, um... 
we'll just wait for that thing to go off. Um, but while we're sitting here, um, I will say some things that you could fix is some of the colored buildings. I don't understand. Uh, I don't know if you were going off like realism or anything like that, but, um, hold on. Is this ever going to go off? What's it got to get to? I don't know much about like this stuff, but, um, you got like unanchored trees over there. You've got, uh, signs still laid out. Um, you've got different types of trees, which is cool, but. There we go. Finally got it to go off. Um, I do like the realism in that, though. That's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, no, I don't know why you went with, like, bright colors. Like, it looks like that might be the middle school over there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's, like, bright blue, but um, we'll see. And also, I don't know what that red building is. It's just, like, a box or something. Uh, but I, what I do think is cool is that you can actually open these like this. If I can get that one open. How are we on fuel? We should be fine, hopefully. Uh, let me just take a screenshot right here because I think that would be best. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Let's make a left out of here. Yeah, see, so you've got all these signs laid out. You've got, like, letters here, which is, I mean, it's okay. But, you know, from a player's perspective, it wouldn't be too appealing. Uh, also, the lanes are very, very narrow. Um, but, yes, I am here to critique. Definitely here to critique. <laughs> oh, my God. The buses are nice, though. I do like the buses. Let's make a right into here. You know, I think the last time I checked out this game, somebody told me to review it, and I, like, joined it, and I just didn't like the look of it or something like that. I definitely probably thought it had, like, free models or something. Which, I mean... I don't know. I don't really know the owner or anything like that. I know he works at Marino Valley because I, he, I think he became a developer soon after I did. I think if that's the same guy, I don't know. Looks like we're gonna have to do some sort of three point turn here. Not not three point. I'd like a turnabout. If we can. Oh my god, we're all off the road. I could have done that a lot better. Uh, so it looks like there's a high school way over there. We're going to go check that out. Um, I don't know how many developers he has working on this, or if he's, like, the sole developer. Oh, I like this area. I saw this part in, like, the thumbnail. This little, uh, like, um, roundabout area. This is really cool. Um, there's a lot of open area. I don't know if it's actually like that in Monroe, but, uh, hopefully this doesn't lead to nowhere. <laughs> Oh my god, it might though. Oh my god, we're floating. We're legitimately floating. What? Yeah, that looks like it leads to nowhere. Okay, so... It's obviously... It's obvious that the map isn't finished. Obvious. Very obvious. But that's okay. It looks like they kind of got this idea from ABC. The speed limit in the street that they're on. Um, 
ABC's been like the only company I know that's done that. Oh boy, let's hope I don't fall off. Oh my god. I would pr pull in, you know what, we'll, we'll make a stock right here, right on the hill. Because this is safe. Definitely safe. It looks like there's an elementary school. No bus area added yet. So I don't know how old this game is either. Let me take a look. Created in 2022. Late 2022. So it's not that old. It's got decent visits. Hmm. The only part I'm really interested in is the buses. Uh, the map obviously isn't the best right now. Um, I mean, it, it's pretty big, which I like. It's open. Uh, you got houses floating, which I'm not a fan of. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know if that's all just for, like, I don't know. You got to fix that, though, because that just doesn't look right. You got like a lot of things floating. This is supposed to be the high school, I think. Right? Looks like we can't go in here though. But I'm, I'm not really like doing a route. You know, I'm here to review the game. Because that's mainly what you guys watch me for. Uh, I think at least. Uh, a lot of you guys like to find new games to play. Um, some of you might not know about this game. Some of you might be interested in this type of game. I know a lot of you guys like the realism of the buses. Um, the the startup on this bus was pretty realistic. Um, as far as like building pressure goes. I wonder if you have to do that every time. Hmm. Looks like there's an ocean over there. Now, I love the fact that this is in Washington. I respect that. Um, I love the state of Washington, believe it or not. I've always wanted to live there. Um, it's, I, I, I respect that. Um, I love the idea of having a Washington, uh, school bus simulator on Roblox. Um, so I am interested to see what what this game has got going for it, uh, you know, in the future, for sure. But it looks like there's not much over there. There's a lot of houses over there, which you, it looks like you can go to. This seems to be some sort of car dealership. I'm not too sure. What's over there? Nothing. Okay. But yeah, I just don't understand why there's a lot of unanchored and floating things. Uh, you know, your roads aren't the best. Uh, if you want, you can use uh, gap fill to connect your roads uh, and even the use of Archimedes. Uh, those are two great plugins for uh, roads. A lot of people seem to struggle with uh, roads, road layouts, uh, which is okay because I did too until I found out about those plugins. But I will say, I do like the base. I do like the buses. The map is just needs some work for sure. Also, this might not be too big of a deal, but the 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 color of the grass is a bit arcadey. You know, it's a little too green. Um, however, that's just you know, the personal preference, really. You know, if you have darker grass, it looks more of like a a non-Roblox game, which is essentially the goal, really, with all these games. You want to make it to, you want to make it the least Roblox game possible. You want to make it the best experience. Okay, looks like we have it, like some sort of gas station right there. Here's the MS. I will say, I do like the MS loop. That is really cool, which is... Uh, 
I mean, I suck at building, um, if anybody knows me, I suck at building parking lots, bus loops, I suck at all that stuff. I don't know why, but I just do. Uh, you got a lot of buildings out here with no, like, windows or doors or any names or anything. You've got a bunch of houses lined up over there, same houses all lined up in a row. I'm not a fan of that. Don't know what that is. I'm, I'm just telling you as it is, how it is, basically. The game needs a lot of work. The map, the map, the map for sure. Um, oh my god, what is going on over here? What is this? This is like a whole little, like, almost, it almost looks like a biome switch over here. What is all this? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Are these supposed to be houses? Hmm. Not sure. I think I know what you were trying to do here. You know, if you're going off realism, you're obviously using the city of Monroe. Uh, I think that's what you were trying to do. Like, you went... You went on Google Maps. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though, because it looks like you went on Google Maps, got the overhead view of the actual city, and legitimately tried to copy it. So these could be like holder, uh, like blocks, if you will. Uh, you know, it 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 symbolizes that a building is going to be built here. You know, I think that's kind of like what you did. And if you did, that's that's not bad. That's not a bad idea. It's really not. So if you think about it, all of these blocks could be stores one day, you know, if they do end up uh, continuing to build, you know, it could just be like a whole layout. That's what that's what my idea is. I'm not going to go over those train tracks because it doesn't appear to be a ramp right there. <laughs> I feel like I'd get stuck. Um, But yeah, that's all I can think about. I could be wrong, though. If it is, though, that's... Pretty, I like that idea. Putting like a, a huge layout. Pretty cool. Looks like you got your road layouts down now. You got a lot of roads. Which is cool. That map is very big. I like that. I do like that. Um, hopefully I'm not missing anything. I, it looks like there might be palm trees way over there. I don't know if I should go over there or not. Is that another... Oh, God. How am I going to get up over here? I'm going to send it. I'm going to send it. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. All right. Yeah, a lot of flaws. Definitely a lot of flaws. Um, but, yeah, I don't know how often they work on this game. All I know is that I had a few people recommend it to me. Uh, so, obviously, I had to check it out. Hmm. I guess we'll turn back onto this street if we can. But, yeah, this kind of looks like a little town hall area, almost. But I think that's it. Um... I don't know. It it compared to the other bus simulators on Roblox, it is it, definitely not competing. And I mean that in the nicest way possible, at least map wise. Uh, and if you guys know me, you know the map is a hit or miss. You know if your map doesn't look good, if it doesn't if it doesn't feel right, it just it just doesn't make a bus simulator. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't. However. I will uh, respect the fact that if it's still being developed, I do admire that. I do admire that. So I guess we'll just have to see later down the road. Emergency roof. I do like that though. The bus features are really nice. Definitely. Uh, I have people DMing me all the time about, can you help me with my map and stuff like that? Because I am a developer, if you guys didn't know. 
Uh, I do do builds. Um, I I don't know if you call it a map developer. I don't really build maps. However, I am a pretty decent builder. Um, and it seems like development wise, a lot of people struggle. Not so much on the building part, but the the whole layout part. You know, people want to. People want to start a school bus simulator, but then they realize they eventually have to build a layout. Uh, it can't just be one road with a bunch of houses and a school, obviously. It's got to be multiple roads, multiple neighborhoods, at least to, com to be in the competition, you know what I mean? To compete with, like, uh, NBC or ABC or... Any of the other top school bus simulators. Um, but I know I'm going way off track here. Uh, I'm just trying to give my input on like map design and developing. Because uh, that seems to be the uh, problem here. But... It's a, it's a, it's an okay game. I mean, it's not the best, obviously. Could use some work as needed. I do like these gates, though. These are very nice. It makes me question ABC, or sorry, not ABC. It makes me question why we don't use something like that at NBC. We use a script that you, you run that closes and opens the gate, which is 10 times more lag efficient, or, yeah, than pushing something in it, opening a gate. At least I would think. Not efficient. Did I say efficient? I meant, like, having a script, running a script like that to open a gate is way more... I feel like it caused way more lag than... Uh, than something simple as that. So, you got a few things going for you, for sure. I don't know why I just opened those reds and stuff. But... The buses, nevertheless, look great. I know these are uh, Gen X, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, or I think, I don't know. But, yeah, that's my kind of review on uh, Monroe, Washington. Uh, interested to see what the game uh, turns into in the future. Uh, hopefully my tips give some sort of help. Probably not, uh, because I'm not the best developer, and I don't know what your plans are for the game, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys do wish to play this game, it will be linked in the description down below. Uh, yeah, recommend any other school bus simulators if you'd like. Um, with that being said, if you guys liked the video, please would like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.